Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kenna, and if you're new here, then welcome. I'm a biochemist, I'm a cosmetic formulator, and a digital creator here on YouTube and on Instagram. And I'm also a business consultant for skincare startups and just skincare companies in general, a lot of indie beauty brands looking for assistance on everything from formulation to manufacturing, raw material sourcing, and so on. In today's video, I want to share my top five tips that every entrepreneur should know before they launch their first skincare product or maybe a new addition uh, to an already existing line. So if you wanna know my five top tips for launching a new skincare product into the market, then just keep watching. Okay, so tip number one is make sure you're actually launching a product that people want and people are looking for. So there's so many different skincare products on the market. There is so much saturation in this industry. And what's gonna really make sure that your product is selling is making sure it's something that people actually want and need. Uh, to give you an example, like there's so many hyaluronic acid serums. Do people really want another just plain old hyaluronic acid serum? So make sure that you are launching a product that has some kind of differentiation, be it with the different ingredients, the technology, the packaging, the business values, or just you know sustainability practices or whatever it is. Just make sure that what you're putting out, people are actually looking for and are actually needing um, maybe it's something new, a new category of beauty products or skincare products, but make sure there is some kind of new factor to it and it's not just going to be just one other vitamin C serum or just one other hyaluronic acid serum. It's gotta be different in some way. Okay, tip number two is to make sure that you have actually determined and calculated and researched all the costs that are gonna go into launching this product. It's really easy to just kind of look at the overview of what the product will cost, but there's so many different hidden costs like uh, import duties and shipping fees and insurance and you know just your, your website fees and your email fees and everything like that, email newsletter fees. There's so many little hidden costs in there that really start to add up over time. So make sure that you've gone through that process from everything from all your R&D work to the manufacturing, everything that's gonna be set up to run your business and know what that looks like before you even start that venture to make sure it's something that is viable for you at this time or maybe you need to get a small business loan or request additional investment or dip more into your savings or whatever it is. But I do see this quite a bit with clients where they have like a large budget for launching a skincare product but it ends up being more than that because there's just so many hidden costs uh, when it comes to launching products and you know even everything from uh, returns and refunds and everything so you have to make sure that you've done a really solid business plan and your financials are really really sound there's so many great tools online um, i'm not going to link any in this video maybe i'll do that in a future video just kind of financial resources for small businesses and startups to know to categorize everything and track everything and put in some estimates and everything and it is good to you know get on the phone and get those real numbers and get those quotes to know that you know what you're getting into basically <laughs> okay tip number three is to bring your own person and your own experience into the marketing of your product i think that this is a big reason why people buy skincare products is actually because of the founder um, whether they're an expert in their field or they're an influencer or a celebrity or they have some kind of personal tie to their product make sure that you are part of your story because you are the only you on the planet you are very unique and you should be using that as a marketing tool and factor that goes into your your marketing of your product and also your story why did you want to make this product what does it do for you why do you love it uh what's your background what's your experience your history you know your tie to beauty your tie to skincare whatever it is think about how your story can be incorporated into your marketing because that's just going to strengthen it and give people like that person of personification of your brand and your brand identity and when they think of your brand name they're going to think of you and that's great because it really creates a community and a relationship with your customers okay tip number four is to bring in the experts so 
nobody can do a whole launch on their own whatever you are strongest in definitely keep those jobs for you but delegate when you can and bring in experts if you are not an expert in that field for example if you're not a cosmetic formulator do not try to formulate your own skincare products if you have no idea about manufacturing then bring in an expert for manufacturing if you don't know how to responsibly source and ethically source and sustainably source raw materials then bring in an expert to do that if you don't have experience with marketing or sales then bring in an expert for that and so on so definitely bring in expertise it will be so much more valuable in the long run and you will be able to get farther and have a better product and a better business running because you have brought experts in that know what they're doing know what they're talking about and can help you um and kind of get 10 steps ahead instead of just trying to learn everything yourself and making a lot of mistakes and losing a lot of money along the way side note if you do need consulting in any of those areas Definitely check out my website, kennawindall.com, because I do business consulting for formulations, for stability testing and efficacy testing, and then also raw material sourcing, manufacturing, um, regulatory compliance, all of that jazz. So if you do need help in any of those areas that I am an expert in, then definitely uh, contact me and we can discuss. And then tip number five may sound a little corny, but it is really important to believe in yourself and believe in your product. If you don't believe in what you're doing and you have self-doubt, then nobody is going to believe in your product or your story either. You have to be your strongest advocate. You have to make sure that this is a product that you love and use every single day, that you would just scream from the rooftop, from the rooftops that you are obsessed with this. You're gonna recommend it to all your friends and family and everything. You have to be your biggest advocate and truly you have to believe in yourself always every step along the way so much so much fear and self-doubt comes into play when you are launching your product it is scary as heck but it is so so important to knock down those fears and just know that what you're doing is the right thing for you and your life your career and you have passion and you have created something that you totally believe in and you know other people will love so never stop believing in yourself even when it looks very daunting and difficult and confusing and really scary to take that step just when you keep believing in yourself and you're your biggest advocate it just it, people can see that and people can see that this is something that you have so much passion for passion is what lights other people up when you talk to someone who's passionate about something you can't help but get passionate about it too so that is uh it sounds really corny but it's a really key important step of this whole process all right, I know that was super short and sweet, but definitely let me know if you have any questions about anything that I talked about um, down in the comments below. And I'm definitely gonna make more videos like this, um, kind of more on the business side of things as far as skincare startups and launching skincare products and everything. So if you have any recommendations or topics that you want me to cover, just let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. And if you don't already, definitely follow me on Instagram because I do post there every single day. And again, new schedule on YouTube. I'm posting on Mondays and Thursdays. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.